Semco offers two types of SEM kits, barrier style and injection style, which are used to package and mix two component sealants, adhesives, and other paste materials. The type of kit selected is based on the mix ratio requirements of the material. If mix ratio is less than 10 to 1, then a barrier kit is preferable. If the mix ratio is greater than 10 to 1, then an injection style SEM kit is recommended. In this video, we will be mixing a barrier style SEM kit. After determining what type of SEM kit you have, the next step is determining how to mix the material. Semco offers the end user three options to mix a SEM kit, including a 388 mixer, 285 mixer, and the option to mix by hand. In this video, we will be mixing by hand. From a quality perspective, the 388 mixer is the preferred method for mixing materials in SEM kits as this limits the opportunity for issues to arise out of improper mix and reduces the strain on the operator. However, mixing SEM kits by hand is very common, especially for small volume usages. Before beginning to handle the materials, take the necessary personal protection equipment measures such as safety glasses and gloves. Remove the tape band from the middle of the barrier style SEM kit package. Pull the dasher rod straight up toward the threaded neck end of the cartridge. Depress the cartridge in the area of the removed tape band to deform the foil barrier. Push dasher rod to plunger end of the cartridge to get the deformed foil barrier out of the way. Hold the cartridge and push the dasher rod to the bottom of the cartridge. Begin stroking the dasher rod in a spiral clockwise motion from the neck end of the cartridge. Rotate the dasher rod approximately 90 degrees with each stroke. One stroke is defined as the insertion of the dasher rod in the cartridge to the bottom and back to the top. Be sure to observe the amount of strokes required to mix and the time frame for which this needs to be accomplished. These instructions can be found on the SEM kit bag. Upon finishing the last stroke, push the dasher rod to the plunger end of the cartridge. Grasp the cartridge firmly at the plunger end and detach the dasher rod from the mixing dasher by turning counterclockwise approximately three turns. Remove dasher rod from the cartridge. The mixing process is now complete. Semco has several pneumatic and manual dispensing guns to choose from, as well as standard and specialty nozzles. To maximize your efficiency, select tools tailored for your application. For more information, please visit our website at www.semcopackaging.com or call 1-800-AeroMix.